Yo, what is up you guys? It's Nick here and welcome to episode 18 of our Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. If you guys missed the previous episode, we did meet up with... It's Herbert's moon? I'm good, man. Uh, we did meet up with Seth, I believe, and basically... Uh, wait, kill or capture... Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on, horse. Okay. Well, we're going to jump right into the middle of some things here. Um, what I was trying to say was we did meet up with Seth again. Um, I think I my last vote. And we hunted treasure. It was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it was, it was... Seth is one of a kind. He definitely is. He's one of a kind. But, um... Okay, so we have to turn him, so we're gonna have to carry him. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that was the previous episode. In this episode, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is going to talk, um, I have to walk all the way back there. Carrying this man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, but I think what we're gonna do in this episode, you guys, is go and meet up with Wes Dickens. Um... I have no idea what he has for us. I'm not sure what exactly he wants us to do or anything like that, but he's been on our map. Um, he's a character that we can go talk to, so we're going to go talk to him. And then at some point, um, I'll check the map after we drop this dude off and actually kind of run you guys through what I'm thinking here. Um, I don't know if I could get on my horse, if I could have rode my horse in town. I mean, it's not like it's that far I have to carry this man, but it's like... So there you are. There you are. On that armadillo justice. Okay. He's spitting on him. He's kicking him. Bro. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and call our horse. Um, I did want to look at the map. Um, and where's breaking shop? Oh, we can go back and do more. Uh, we're going to go all the way down here. Uh, we're going to speak with him and then, um, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go speak with him. Um, I've been talking about meeting up with him and, and whatnot. So let's just go do it. And then at some point, probably in the next episode, we'll go ahead and talk to Mr. Irish again. Um, Mr. Irishman. And see what he has for us. The last time we hung out with him, uh, I believe he led us to the mines and we tried to find a machine gun and all this crazy stuff. It was wild. I don't know why everybody in this game, except for us, everybody in this game is like insane. We seem to be the only normal ones, but um, I also wanted to check real quick. There's no other... Yeah, these are the only two stranger missions. Uh, Funny Man, I... I don't know. I don't know. I guess you just run into him at times, and then there's something for you to do, like save him or talk to him or something like that. Um, and then the I Know You mission, uh, that's on our way to Irish, so we'll tackle that then. Um, and I guess we just have to talk to a, some dude about the drinking, I think he, I think it was, was the problem. So, we'll figure it out. But... Either way, let us, um, okay, we still got plenty of ways to go. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, but, whoa. Come on now, don't be like that. Come on now. Come on now. Let's not do that. Barnsley never did that. Actually, he did that. He did do that. Actually, in the second episode, I think. He knocked us right over in a race. Um, I was gonna say... I lost my strength of thought now, because our horse threw us off. Um... I was gonna say, I think I want to do... I, I know I was talking about this. I think what we're gonna do is... At the end of this week, go ahead and possibly try to do an exploration... Slash side mission episode... Um, because I think what I want to do, for the most part, uh, is just kind of focus on the main story, 
um, of the game, you know, the main missions and, and whatnot. And I think what we'll do is maybe take like one episode a week and then just focus. I'm breaking the fourth wall hard here, but we'll just take one episode a week where I'll sit down and tackle um, side quests, uh, exploration, like going back and visiting um, or actually looking through locations that we discovered but we never really got to like see. So I think we're going to do that. I've, I've been thinking that's how I want to do it. Uh, so I think we're going to rock out with that pretty soon. And what are these towers? Huh. Are we close? Oh, we're, we're like right there. Come on now. Plain view. Alright. Okay, I really just like run past it. Okay. There we go. Can a swindler change his spot? So we're meeting up with Wes Dickens. We're gonna see what he has for us. Uh, what has this man been up to? Let's find out. Let's find out. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can There's always you. something. You've been taking my There's time, always sir, a favor to do. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> all right, so let's make it with the crowd until the show starts. All right, who wants some mingling? Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view. This man you is... You suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, I don't know. <laughs> neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, so he's doing I this represent for again. the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache. Neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. 12 weeks. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I nah. say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Well, Good day. Let's all. Somebody get that thing back. Oh, they're going to... Oh, it looks like God. we've been okay. discovered. Let's get out of here. All right. Two right shots. At least I'm not driving. Oh, for Christ's sake, John, get out of the damn wagon. Okay, hold on. Let me see what this At least I'm not driving, so I can just focus on um, shooting them. Uh, riding in the passenger seat on a wagon is also known as riding shotgun. Okay. okay. Hopefully, no, but should I, like, call my horse? I don't know. I don't think I did. I don't know. I guess our horse is just following us. Okay. Damn. Alright. Um, so, are they all gone? Nope, they're still coming. They are still coming. And they're all gone for the most part. And there's more. Never mind. There is more. There's always more. Take me! It sure is hurt me. 
Bad for calling my horse. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I, just, I accidentally pressed the uh, up on the D-pad. Well, our horse is at least at least our, we know where our horse is. So I'm not gonna Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science. Yeah, maybe he Stop. needs to uh fix up his elixir so that we can do it works. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. The tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. I know. He's dying. Okay. Where are they all coming from? They're coming from all types of directions. There are so many of them. I don't know. I, I don't think there were this many back there. Is that everyone? Is that all? Nope, there's more. Save the day again. It's what we do. It's what we do. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we Maybe. try our hand at racing again. If there's a meet at Ratskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Alright, so we got some money. We'll probably get some iron from him as well. Uh, he just left us kind of like out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, but there's another mission for us to do. Um... Because we can still talk to him and whatnot. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and help him out again. See what else there is. The sport of kings and liars. So we are going to do another race here. Mr. West Dickens. Um. Ah, Mr. Marston. The first one went well. How so. To see you, sir. How I'll do wonderful. it again. Are we ready then? We literally. Uh, yes, sir. 
Yeah. Just saw each other, but okay. Barely, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. What? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something Now he needs money. <laughs> and I'm about Poor's to wagon. how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know okay. that you drive. I see where this is well, going. Come, sir. To Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. Here. Wait. Am I going to have to follow him? Oh, great. Come here, horse. Come on. Come on, let's go. So, we're going to have to get money for his wagon to kind of fix it up. I have a feeling, um... So how are you, John? Okay, We're gonna have to do some crazy sanity. stuff, Hopefully we but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe he will make us doing some too, customer. too insane. Onwards but upwards. now we have to get money to fix his wagon. So I'm going to. I'm actually gonna take off. Just go there. That's okay with you. Since this man, look how slow he is. Look how far behind he is. I'm just gonna take off and go. I don't think it will take me back. I don't think it will make me go back, but we'll see here. But, uh, we already helped him once, and so now we gotta help him again. Everybody in this game seems so helpless. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed. Everybody's so helpless. Yeah. Like, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. It's actually kind of crazy. But, nevertheless, we'll help him. Alright, we are here. Line up at the start position. So are we gonna race anyways, or oh, are we doing like a horse? Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No huh. shooting, stabbing, lip pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing. Okay, I think we can do it. Yeah, we like stalled out. <laughs> we stalled out there. Uh, so we have to finish the race in the first race. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna go through that because we're slow. Okay. We go, we go through really slow to um, things like that. We may not really in horse. Yeah, I was gonna say that was really slow. Alright, so last time we did this, I think after like two or three attempts, we did end up winning it in first place. And I believe in ourselves. I think we can do it again. Look, we're already sixth. But my horse is so slow. Okay, we're gonna have to like just stay here and build. Okay. Okay. Only really make her like run. Pass all these fools. Pass all these fools. Nice. We're first. Sweet. Okay. So we can maintain solid pace. Let's maintain solid pace. I think we can do it. Okay. Just like that. Easy. I'm not catching them now. They're really catching them now. Okay. I have no idea how much longer there is. They're really catching them now. Oh, come on, sign. Okay. Just keep running. Just keep running. 
we're slowing down now. No, 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 no. I hate how it does that, dude. What the heck, dude? Are you kidding me, Tom? You're fluffy kitten me right now. Oh, that is so stupid. I thought this horse was supposed to be like the best of the best. Like, it was supposed to be this super rare and great horse. Don't seem too great to me. No, no, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to go in the grass. Yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> I don't know why the... Oh my god, it takes forever to go up. Okay, come on. I'm so angry right now. Okay, we're just gonna have to go. I have no idea how many left there are. I just have to let it build up and then go for it. This is actually really intense, dude. This one, okay, is this it? Okay, I think this might be it. Yep. That was it. Goodness. He came, he he we almost lost that multiple times, but <laughs> we did it. Okay, so I thought we we're gonna have to do a lot more, but I guess that was it. All we had to do was race a horse. A team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Alrighty, so, with that being said and done, let me take a look, uh, let me let this save, and then take a look at our map here. Uh, there is a stranger nearby that I'm going to go see if I can talk to real quick, um, but next up, Blackjack games cannot be entered, Ooh. Um, let me go see who this is, who are you? Who are you? Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. <laughs> they took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking about, they friend? Took, they took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fell out. So another stranger I'm that so... needs our help. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. Cannot say I'm surprised. Look for Jeb's love in Tumbleweed. Alright. So let me let this save again. And I think what we're gonna do is that Jeb's love right here. Who are you to judge? I think so. Okay. Um, I think what we're gonna do is go back to Armadillo and then what I think here. Um Yeah, for now, let me call my horse. We'll go back to Armadillo. Uh and then what we'll do in the next episode is go ahead and speak to Irish, and then that'll be Seth. Mr. Dickens and Mr. Irishman that we've all spoken to. Um, so that way we can start to do whatever it is. We can assemble the team. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything in here. Uh, we can assemble the team. But for now, we'll head back to Armadillo, save our game there. Go to sleep for the night because it's been a wild day of uh, defending Mr. Dickens' wagon. Are taking in another horse race, all types of crazy stuff. Um, and I think we'll, we can try to tackle that one uh, stranger mission as well while we're on the way there. But that'll be in the next episode. But for now, 
Let's head back to, um, I'm going to over here. I kind of do want to, well, I guess, it, I guess if we go to Mr. Irish, Mr. Irishman, uh, we have to pass through McFarland's Ranch anyways. So I'll go in there and see if there's anything that Bonnie wants. I didn't see anything on the map, but I'll see if I can speak to Bonnie or, uh, Mr. McFarland or anything like that, or anyone like that, I should say. I'll speak to some of them and see if there's anything they have for us. I probably won't get a chance to do it until after I, I talk to Mr. Irish, but we'll see. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Um, I didn't see anything on the map, so I think we should be good with them uh, for a little bit. It seems like at the beginning we were doing a lot of missions for them, like a lot of chores and whatnot for them. And then they just kind of stopped asking us, so... I mean, we have done, uh, like, multiple, uh, horse breaking jobs and stuff like that. The hoarding of the horses. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that, but if they want me to do it, I'll do it. I'll be the one to do it. Right, so how much farther? Are we almost there? Are we almost there? We're almost there. Okay. It goes, uh, time goes by, like, the, when you're... Going from point A to point B, it goes by a lot faster than I think it does. You know. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make our way to Armadillo. Can we see it in sights? It is in our sights now. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and just leave our horse right there, and then we're gonna. Excuse me, sir. Well, I did not push you that hard. I did not run into you that hard. Man, maybe we are. Do you see me knock down those chairs? Maybe we're a lot stronger than I think we are. We are forced to be reckoned with. All right, let's break in through here and go ahead and quickly save our game. And with that being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and save. Alright, with that being said, you guys, we are going to wrap up this episode of Red Dead Redemption right here. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video, as that would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, take care, and have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.